everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Overpass, a game that is in my wheelhouse, I think, but you might not have known it. This is a uh, a racing game, like an ATV racing game, but bear with me, because I know for a lot of my audience, they're going to be like, what the heck are you doing playing an ATV racing game? The way it seems in the copy, in the sales pitch, is that it's like an ATV racing game crossed with something like Spin Tires or something like Spin Tires Mud Runner, which is almost like a simulation-y puzzle driving game where you have to navigate like realistic terrain, um, you know, ridiculous obstacles and stuff like that. There's vehicle damage. And really, the goal is to win, yes, but also the goal is to just make it to the end without, you know, I don't want to say dying, but without causing so much vehicle damage that you're in a catastrophic position. Um, this came out, uh, I actually don't know what other platforms it's on. So to be honest, I should probably look that up. Um, but I'm playing it on the PC via the Epic Store. This was a code received from the developers. Thank you for that. Overpass. Just give it a second. Overpass game. I, I want to, Google Assistant, it's, it's my favorite employee. It is available. Oh, it came out for Xbox One previously. This is maybe just the PC launch. Okay. Oh, also, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows. What would you look at that? Let's get started. Um, honestly, let's start in the Amateur League. I, I'm not sure I'd trust myself to do okay on the Pro League. Uh, these are the kind of games where sometimes I really think that it's better for me to start on easy mode. Despite my ego. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, I did turn the volume way down, mostly because I was worried about copywritten music. Let me, let me pause it when we get the opportunity, and I'll crank it back up again. We will learn how to successfully pass obstacles and rough terrain. Now, drive out and follow the path and the instructions as they appear. Easy. Simple. If you'll give me a moment, we'll go back to our sound mixer. It's a, it's a complicated thing, you know? To, to run a, a simulation like this, to run a program like this. Crank it up a little bit, please. I think maybe my own volume's a little on the low side as well. Yourself with the Whoa! Basic okay, that's, uh, came out of nowhere. Controls. Okay, I immediately want to turn it back down. If you'll just excuse me, we'll just pull the master value, volume down like that. I think I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more. I apologize for taking a little longer to get into the, the mix of it here, but once we're good, we're good. Overpass is not all about speed. Many times you'll need to slow down, so don't be afraid to use the brake. Not a problem. I mean, look at this. You, you think I haven't played enough... Oh, you sorry. Have <laughs> think I haven't played enough uh, Forza Eliminator games to, to get this speed. accomplished? You can perform Problem solved. Slides by using the handbrake while turning sharply. Okay, I'm familiar. I've seen the Fast and the Furious. So something like skirt. If your vehicle ends up on its something side, like uh, stuck, maybe we won't have an opportunity to do it. That's okay. To get back on track. All right, you take it slow through these sections. I have played Mud Runner. I get it. Ribbons, flags, and signs help mark out the intended path. Follow them. And you'll not get lost. Well, we will Tearing put that theory the to the test, Sam Elliott. In the time penalty. Hold on. Change camera view. Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> what, what the heck is orbit camera? Ah, okay, I get it. Hold on. Yeah, this is uh, this is my preferred camera angle, I think. All right, so so far, uh, you know, nothing overly complicated here. Just make sure you're ready to, you know. Cross over this little section right here. A little bit Descenders-esque for sure as well. There you go. Different ground surfaces will affect the traction of the wheels. You'll have the traction while of the wheels. Sand compared with dirt and rock. Which makes perfect sense. Now, let's try driving over mud. It'll be harder to accelerate and turn. Uh, no casket, just wet, wet mud. I also know, or I'm guessing that, I'm looking at the bottom left here. And I'm assuming we'll switch between two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and having our differential locked. I still don't... I mean, I'm not like a car guy. I, if you've ever watched me play anything um, that has any kind of engineering aspect to it whatsoever, 
you're probably going to be aware of the fact... <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate that. You're probably going to be aware of the fact that... Uh, I'm not really engineering-minded, to be honest. At least not when it comes to, like, you know, machinery. Um, so I have no idea what locking the differential does. All I know is that from playing Mudrunner... Um, I think it gives you, like, extra torque when you're pulling out of a situation where there's limited traction. That sounded like a real thing. So far, no problem, dude. I'm well aware, by the way, of the fact that these are kind of uh, niche titles. So I'm not necessarily expecting oh, everybody to watch this and immediately be like, Oh, dude, this is 100% up my alley. I think for a lot of people, it's going to be uh, not necessarily 100% up their alley. But regardless... Ooh, don't hit the cone. I've been, especially, like, I, I got a wheel um, last spring, I guess almost a year ago now. The, the Logitech uh, G29. And it really opened my eyes to playing more racing games. Now, the irony is the racing game I played the most over the course of the past the year was uh, Forza, which I use the controller for. This slope will be just, just avoid the muddy areas, dude. Muddy just avoid areas. the muddy areas. Um, but I also played a lot of F1 and a little bit of... of oh, see ya. <laughs> a little bit of Mud Runner on the wheel as well. And it really opened my eyes to the... And, and a little American Truck Sim, now that I think about it. It opened my eyes to the... Uh, the possibility of uh, playing more games like this. And I think it's really... Uh, it's allowed me to expand my horizons a little bit and recognize that... You know, sometimes we look at games like this, or games like a truck sim, for example, or a train simulator, and we go like, uh, I don't fully understand why people are into those, but when you play them yourself, some of you are going to get hooked. Not all of you, but some of you are going to get hooked. Easy. Failing to pass correctly will result in a time penalty. He's so concerned about the time penalties. I'm mostly concerned myself about just arriving alive. Okay, well, probably we won't start like that then. All right, here you go. Also, what is my man driving? Um, oh, I legitimately... I did not think it was possible for us to climb this thing. There you go, I, I see you spinning. That's fine, that's fine. Throw me in reverse a little bit here. We're gonna try again. Go slowly enough to not overload the suspension or damage the vehicle, but fast enough that you get some momentum. I mean, it's really, it, it's a lot like, uh, oh, my bad. <laughs> it's a lot like a, like a four-wheel trials right now, like a, like a 3D instead of 2.5D. I mean, trials is really not 2.5. Eh. It's really not 2.5D, huh? It's kind of just 2D, but mapped onto a 3D this plane a or 3D. Uh, drive up on. There's the depth. Stop and let it flip over. Easy. And then drive off. You think I need to know what a Jumping seesaw is, a sir? Seesaw results in a time penalty. Is, this is really. I'm realizing now. This is the Westminster, Westminster Dog Show for ATVs. When are you gonna have me run through a tunnel? and jump over a, uh, a steeplechase gate. Okay, I gotta be honest, this one's a little touchy. Or is it? Or is it? I'll have you know. Over small obstacles nope. like Hold rocks. On. A good technique to avoid getting stuck on your belly is to place the wheels onto the rocks. Well, what if I'm stuck on my side, dude? Place your wheels on the rocks so you don't get stuck on your belly. I may be a denizen of a major metropolitan area now, but I grew up in ATV country. I've put a little mud on the tires. I've been towed on a GT racer behind a snowmobile. If you think I don't know what I'm doing here, you're sorely mistaken. Okay, you're doing great. Sweetheart, keep it up. Don't get stuck on your belly. Okay, there you go. Maybe a little quick jaunt right there. Majestic. That was dangerous. I almost got stuck on my belly. 
Come on, you can do it. Is there like a like a jump on this thing? We got any hydraulics? I'm gonna be honest, I feel like Austin Powers right now. So can we give me a quick little respawn? Much appreciated. Maybe just go over the rock, or is that dumb? I'm gonna be honest, it seems like that might be dumb. What about left wheel through the gap, right wheel on the tiny rock? Oh, baby! What it do, baby? Good turn, good turn. Okay. This is just how 40% of Canadians get to work on a daily basis. Off-road driving is to enter one wheel at a time. Try it out by driving over these pipes at a slight angle. Okay, drive over the pipes on. at a slight angle instead of straight on. AKA, when you're in high school and you have a Honda Civic, but you lower it six inches closer to the ground, so if you go over a speed bump, your muffler's gonna hit the concrete and fall off. One wheel at a time, baby. One wheel at a time. I gotta be honest, the kids in high school made it look easy. I feel like I'm doing the wrong angle. I continue to get stuck on my belly. I mean, I'm telling you, I think we could go around this, but... Slight angle. What do you think about an alternating approach here? Oh, no. I mean, that one, I, I did it to myself. I can't really be upset about this. Try again. There you go. Slight angle. Skip exercise. Uh, no, what do you think this is? Leg day? <laughs> He's done it. Slight angle, please. I mean, that's a slight angle. I don't know if we have the speed necessary to not get stuck on our belly. Oh, baby! He's doing it. I don't know if we're gonna set any speed records here. AGDQ will not be calling. On the other hand, we've done it. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I got all the tools in the toolbox necessary. Let's, let's start. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's start my career as a true off-road racer. I'm prepared. All right. There's more? In this hill climb, you'll learn a useful tool. I don't know if I'm ready for a hill climb, brother. Steep slopes. The differential lock is... A what did I tell you? When you're stuck and slipping. With an open differential... If one tire loses traction, the power transfers to the tire that is spinning. That doesn't help much when the spinning tire is in the air. With a locked differential, if a tire loses traction, the other tires can still pull. The downside to a locked differential is that it gives poor turning radius. I, I could have told you that. that. Those are first grade instructions. I'll tell you though, this is one of those games you definitely do not want to skip the tutorial for it. Enable the differential lock now. I've done so. This is like, you see streamers, I'm not going to say I've never done it. You see streamers skip the tutorial for this, they're going to be in trouble. There you go, you've done it. You're doing it. You got over it. Great work. I don't know about this one. You're going to get stuck on your belly, dude. You're not going to get stuck on your belly. Oh, what a thrill. Not stuck on the belly. Just a, there you go. Now we're climbing. Still climbing. Slipping a little bit. That's all right. I had a big lunch. That's okay. Get, get some sp Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't realize I had that much zip. There you go. You get it up. Lightweight baby. Okay. There you go. You got some momentum this time. Hit the brakes. Hit the gas. You're doing it. You're doing a great job, sweetheart. Just keep it up. Just smooth acceleration. 
Smooth. Look at that pop. Look at that pop. We're out. We're out. See you later. See you never. Because I'm never coming back to this two bit town ever again. Remember to disable the differential lock when you don't need it. I'm free. Uh, okay, that's my mistake. This is out of bounds. So if you'll just respawn me, I will gladly go about- No! How dare you! That's alright. You gotta- This repetition is part and parcel with the scientific method, okay? Being able to repeat something, like, for example, flipping over in exactly the same way, is the only way you can truly be sure that you know what you're doing. Or have no idea what you're doing, as the case may be. I gotta be honest, he was not joking about the, the turning radius being worse now. There you go, you're free. Don't flip this one. How, what if you didn't flip this one? What if instead of doing what you're doing, which is flipping... Okay, skip exercise. We've done it. We're masters. Now you can try driving an ATV. Oh, thank you! Driving an ATV is a bit different. You can use your rider as a counterweight to help keep the vehicle upright. Leaning toward the slope will prevent you from sliding down or falling over. Dude, this is like, uh... Whoa! This thing's got some gas. This is like trying to pass the driving test in Driver 1 for the PS1. Now we're talking to this thing's... Oh! <laughs> oh, she's a bucking Bronco. Here you go. You lean with the... Okay, I see, I see. So if you lean forward here, you shouldn't fall off. Skirt. I think it's fair to say starting on easy mode was probably advantageous for us. Oh, we're out. <laughs> I'm very concerned about what happens when we do a real race, assuming the tutorial ends at some point uh, in the near future. See ya. Because there's damage physics that are Going persistent. Has its risk too. So remember Whoa, that is not controlling your speed. I shouldn't hit the brakes so hard. It's just like riding a bike. You don't you don't hit the brakes that hard. Doing great. Going down the Coca Cola. Nothing to fear. Nope, something to fear. I'm trying to take these turns way too sharp. Way too sharp. Lean back when you go over this. Oh, he almost, he almost lived, dude. He almost lived. What if you just go this way instead? Yeah, 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 yeah. Slow, 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 slow. Slow is fast. Slow and steady. Comes last in the race, but arrives alive. Great work. Lean forward for extra traction. This is why you supersize. That's okay. Just a little bit of damage. Yo, this is a Yamaha, brother. You think running into a measly little rock is going to cause us problems? <laughs> Doubt it. Great work. Great work. La -da 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 -da. Lean. Just lean into it. Turn that differential on. You can't. Lean. Lean into it. Great stuff. Don't go back too fast. There you go. Looks a little bit more like we're riding a riding lawnmower. But I think that's my fault, not the game's fault. Please. Please. There you go. There you go. We're free. Nothing could possibly stop Good us. Job. Good job! Here, you are free to drive around and practice. That won't be necessary. When Put me in, coach. Face the real challenges, 
find and cross the finish line. Okay. Find and cross the finish line. It's right there, dude. It really does sound like when your neighbor start. Oh, uh, excuse me? He wanted that. That was an, a workman's compensation claim right there. That's insurance fraud, buddy. This does sound like exactly what it feels like when your neighbor starts mowing their lawn at like 7.15 in the morning. Do a flip. Out of bounds. Okay, okay. I'm ready, coach. We might only have time for one race, but at least we know what we're kind of doing now. A challenge is a competition consisting of one or more races. Finishing it will unlock all the connected challenges, but to unlock all its rewards, you need to finish in the top three. The reward tiles offer new vehicles, upgrades, and character gear. Unlocking an item makes it available for purchase in the garage. Playing a challenge takes one round. A season is played over 12 rounds. You know what I'm thinking. It do be a roguelite, though. Okay. Pipe climb in the open arena. Would we rather use our UTV or our ATV? Come on. What do we got here? I'm like, durability seems like a very important part of this for me. So let's take the Arctic Cat Altera Mud Pro 700 Limited, which coincidentally was my nickname in high school. Okay. And I think, like, your damage remains, like, level to level until it gets repaired. So, get ready. I gotta do three laps. So far, so good. Yeah, I was just a little concerned about that. We probably could have taken it a little faster. But let's, let's operate on the assumption that slow is fast, okay? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad start. It's all right. You can get back on the ATV. Great work. Okay, okay. Don't freak out, dude. It's just like basic training for your quad. Now slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that could have been could have been a little hard on the suspension. Lord knows you don't want to. Go too hard in the suspension on lap one. You never know what we're going to do. Now we're going to take this one at full speed. Okay, I was a coward. I let off the gas. I'm not afraid to admit it. A gold medal requires a score or a time of under four and a half minutes, I think, if I remember correctly. So this lap will need to be improved. It's a seesaw. If you jump off the seesaw too quickly, you will get a time penalty. Dude, I know what you're thinking. I didn't think the egg had it in him. Oh, son of a gun. You were absolutely right. I didn't have it in me. So these, you want to you take them at, a, at an angle? You don't want to get stuck on your belly. That's the thing. There you go. Maybe you could shift up. I'm going to be honest with you. The ATVs have gears. It seems like the gear we are in is drive. Send it. Full speed ahead, dude. Okay, now this is of pivotal importance. Do not, under any circumstances, get stuck. See ya. <laughs> That's all right. There's still room for improvement on this one. There's still room for improvement. A little faster over these. Look, that probably saved us like 15 seconds right there. Then, a little faster over this. Little damage to the front two tires. Those ones are, historically, those are the least useful tires involved. Now, we might have some medical bills that require payment here, but that one's... That's not for me to concern myself with. That's for Blue Cross Blue Shield to handle. All right, so we got to do some serious skirting through here. A little skirt. Look at that turning radius. 
look at that turning radius right there. And then don't forget about these. It's about family. That's Vin Diesel in Fast and the Furious. In case you're not familiar. Whatever, that damage, that's uh, cosmetic damage. Now I think if you just yeet this, you're going to be a lot better off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't lose your momentum. Okay, so we're we're not going to get a gold medal, but a silver is still in the cards for us. Which is pretty good considering we've fallen off our quad five times. Great work. Do not fall on this one. There's still a chance. Believe in the killer instinct, dude. Better? You, you heard every part of the ATV on that excursion? But you also did not fall down or lose much time. I mean, on this, you should probably just go around. But, it, but if you're going to go around, uh, why would you even play the game? <laughs> it's kind of the selling point. Okay, send it. Didn't even take any damage on that one. There we go. Save your prize money. Who builds these tracks, by the way? This is just like in the middle of the woods. You're doing it. Send it. Send it. I think like five and a half minutes was uh, silver medal territory. So you're saying there's a chance. We're gonna. Have to, it's gonna be close. That's not helpful. The angle gives you a little pop. You don't want to get stuck on your belly. Oh, we've done it. I think we've done it. <clears throat> that was not that bad. We came in second. It was our personal best. Congratulations. You've earned $5,200 and your reputation has gone up. I can live with that. Well, I think it's going to do it for Overpass. This is a game that, I mean, it's we should be aware for sure. Has uh, niche accessibility and... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Niche appeal? But that's okay. Sometimes these games, uh, you look at it and you're like, hmm. Realistic terrain deforming uh, damage-laden ATV driving simulator? And then you go on Steam and you're like, oh. Mostly positive reviews with 150,000 reviews. I had no idea. So you might be part of the group that is interested in something like this. I found it enjoyable. I like these kind of puzzle driving games, to be honest. I like Mudrunner. I like Trials. You know, I, I like a, a driving game. I mean, I like racing to begin with. But I, I also like a, a driving game that's a little bit more puzzle focused instead of just, you know, go fast and find the perfect line. Uh, this is cool. It's available on... Apparently every major platform, um, but don't take my word for that. I'm playing this on the Epic Store. I will put a link to that below in the video's description. Again, thank you to the developer for the code. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. Click the like button. helps out the video a great deal. And of course, check out the game if you're interested in seeing it for yourself. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!